And uh, all right, it's time to insert the first chart or a first table out of this. Uh, so let's go to insert. And now I will insert the Zebra BI tables visual. OK, I already have it here in my recently used add-ins. OK, but how do you how do you use um, the add-ins in Office if you haven't done this before, uh, you know, just navigate to insert and my add-ins. And okay, so well, well, for the first time, you just simply click on get add-ins, all right? Uh, obviously, I've done that before, but um, if you're a first time user, just go here and search for Zebra. Okay, and you'll see two add-ins, uh, Zebra BI tables for Office, Zebra BI charts for Office. Um, so both of those visuals are free for personal use. Okay, this is the best news. And then the second good news is they work in Excel and in PowerPoint. Okay, so um, I'll just basically just add both of those uh, visuals, right? Click continue click continue and then you'll have them okay uh so for the free license simply continue with the free license that's it okay now i have uh all of my kpis my revenue gross profit and cost visualized okay and compared to my plan all right so um because this is a plan i basically have two columns here all right, two, two measures, um, actual, and the second one is actually a plan. So that's why I will click here. Under the gear icon, you'll find uh, some settings for the visual. Uh, this one is connected to my pivot table. And as you see here, you'll find your values inside. And I'll just move the second one into the plan bucket, OK? So this is because uh, Zebra BI is, um, you know, can actually uh, um, distinguish between typical business scenarios like previous year plan, forecast, and, and so on. So you can always move those measures into the right bucket to, to get the right uh, labels and so on. Of course, if you don't like those labels, these are the standard um, or I would say recommended short labels that are recommended by the IBCS uh, standard uh, that stands for International Business uh, Communication Standards. Uh, so that's why you will always see in Zebra BI, you will see always those short uh, two-letter abbreviations. Um, yeah, uh, if you need to you know, for some reason, uh, change it or have a different terminology, you can simply uh, rename them here. All right. Um, okay, so this is now my very first table. This will be somewhere on the left. When you're moving your objects around in Excel, right, and building your dashboards, it is important that you also know how to align things. I mean, it's this is the trivial thing, right? But, you know, if if you um, put a one object here and it will be like, uh, I don't know, seven pixels too, too much to the right. And, you know, three pixels, you know, higher than the next object that I will put here, right? Um, it will look ugly, okay? So uh, the alignment is a very simple design principle. Just make sure to align things on your, on your dashboards. And uh, one way how to do it in, in Excel is that when you're moving a, uh, the object around, press Alt. So the uh, uh, press Alt on your keyboard and then move it, okay? And what, what this will do is it will align the object to the underlying grid in Excel. All right, to your columns and rows. Okay, so basically, this is moving. This is just regular mouse move. Uh, you know, just stretching it and so on. But if you press the key, the Alt key, you know, it will snap 
to the columns okay and rows all right so this is how you basically align your objects and this will just allow me to quickly align things here on on my dashboard all right um okay now if you need to sort uh thir certain elements like in my case i would actually prefer if my revenue is on the top and so on uh there are a couple of ways of course you can try to sort this um um in your pivot table uh like ascending descending you can add custom sort in your um, excel options um that's also uh, one one option right and then the the simplest one is uh you can just simply uh in any pivot table you can just uh, click on on like the right uh edge of of the cell here and move it up and down okay so this is just manual sorting just move it up and down uh in the uh table and now i have my revenue my cost and then gross profit 